Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, you guys, I have a Facebook members share video for you guys. And there were a bunch. I think last time I did 50 ish in each video. This video is going to have 30. I think 30 is going to be the magic number. And I'm probably going to make it a three part. So, um, haven't decided exactly if I'm going to do them in a row or what. So definitely stay tuned for the other videos. These bolos are exceptional, unexpected, big money, unbelievable. Hey, bolo buddies. Thanks for watching. Full-time reseller. All right, let's get started. Like, I don't know what to tell you guys. Like, these Facebook members are bringing it. So, um, basically what I do is I invite my Facebook members from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. It is called Bolo Buddies Resellers and Thrifters Unite, eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Etsy. Any selling platform, any reseller is welcome. So, if you are not in my Facebook group, there is a link down below. Please come on over and join. It looks like this. Um, I also have another Bolo Buddies Facebook group that looks like this. So come check them out. Links are below. I'm also on Instagram and a little bit of Twitter, but um, mostly on Twitter, I'm just sharing my videos. So uh, thank you for being here. If you're new to the channel, my name is Courtney and I basically teach and educate about items to be on the lookout for. I am a full-time reseller. Full-time reselling is my job. YouTube is something that I do on the side. So um, I've been selling since 2005, was originally all clothing, retail arbitrage clothing, and switched to hard goods. Probably, gosh, it's probably been three, four years ago now. So loving the hard goods. All right, you guys, we are going to get started. Um, I'm going to do this once a month. Um, I know right now there is a toy your best or favorite or unexpected toy bolo. It is posted under the announcements if you guys want to go check that out. And the one for November will be coming soon. So make sure you watch for that under the announcements section. All right, you guys, are you ready to see some big money bolos? And these are so good. Like I learned so much from everyone. Again, if you shared, thank you so much. All right, so let's start with the first one here. It says, and I'm gonna pop up the screen shares right here, and I'm gonna read exactly what they wrote in my Facebook group in the comments so you guys are getting the actual information from the actual seller. So the first one says, I paid $5 at a yard sale a few months ago, sold for full asking price of $109.09. And it looks like it is a temperature control foldable portable griddle. So, um, we'll move on to the next one. Some things I'm like intrigued by and some things I'm like, I don't even know what that is. So uh, this next one here is I bought on Facebook Marketplace, paid $15 each. I bought three sealed. I already sold two, two. I saved the best one for last. Still need to list. Don't listen to others say Black Diamond Tapes and Beanie Babies never sell. Do your own research. Things can change. So I actually have a video on Beanie Babies and Black Diamond VHS saying that they are hyped up. And if you watch the video, I go in and I show you exactly what I mean. Um, people inflate the prices. I'm not saying you can't get bread and butter or even decent money. VHSs are kind of on the rise right now. So we may see a uh, better market for those items. But the Beanie Babies that are selling for ten dollars and $20,000, that's just not true. Um, unless there's some big story I don't know about. So if you have ever sold a Beanie Baby for $10,000, please let me know in the comments. Now, I have sold some of the little, um, I think they're called like Jingle or something, Beanie Babies. I think I have a post on my Instagram about it. But I have sold some of those for decent money. You know, 15 20 25 bucks. But you guys, the norm for the, the Beanie Babies is you're not going to get huge money, but they can be a decent bread and butter if you find the right ones. So, um, but anyway, like I said, the VHS Black Diamonds, they may be coming up in the market, but again, they're not going to sell for twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 unless there's something special about it. So she is right, but I think it's because the VHS market is on, um, 
it's all hyped up right now. People are getting them graded and stuff like that. So this one she has um, is the Little Mermaid and it's the, the edition where the cover was banned and you guys can do your own research on that. Um, there was something in the photo that was inappropriate and it got banned. So that is the one she had. Those do typically sell for a little bit more. Um, it looks like hers were sealed, so that is gonna help the value also. And it looks like she sold one for $149.49. I'll pop it up here. And the other one, she said, oh, her last one sold for $229.49. So I'll pop it up here as well. Um, so do your research. And it's okay to price a little bit high or do an auction starting high and just feel out the market because you just, those VHS, like I'm picking up any VHS that's sealed right now if I can get it cheap because some of them are complete wild cards and they go for hundreds of dollars. And some of them are still very much bread and butter because I seem to be finding the bread and butter. So I hope that helps you guys. Um, Feel free to comment down below. I am not a VHS expert. I am not a Beanie Baby expert. I am just telling you what I know from the research that I have done. So, and markets do change. Um, currently right now, Boyd's Bears, there's a certain Boyd's Bear that is going for big money. They are totally trending. I have a video on it. Go check out that Boyd's Bear video so you know exactly what to look for because if you find these particular Boyd's Bears, you're gonna make some money. Now the other ones, just bread and butter, but check out that video. All right, this next one is a Betsy Johnson vintage button-down dress. It was a personal item owned by them that they had had for years and no longer fit after having kids. But she, but she thrifted it originally at the Goodwill. So that's great. You thrifted at the Goodwill for five bucks. You wear it for as long as you want, and then you sell it for $175. That is awesome. And this item sold on Poshmark. Um, Betsy Johnson is another brand that has kind of gone, it fluctuates in price. I remember there was a time when I was reselling and I was selling Betsy Johnson for big money. These fancy dresses that I picked up retail arbitrage. And oh my goodness, it was a gold mine. But that was many, many, many years ago. So the next item is sold by Bolo Buddies YouTube member, um, Mindful Recycle. This is her channel. All right, you guys. So what is a Bolo Buddies member? Uh, that is where you join my YouTube channel, channel memberships. And if you join at the $4.99 a month, you get featured in a special video. And if you guys have not seen those videos, they are my favorite. These, uh, they are Bolo Finders. They have awesome reseller content. Definitely go check out that video. Um, I have a whole series now. I think I've been doing it about five months and I was hesitant to do memberships because I really wanted to offer something to the people that signed up, something of value. So what I do is I advertise your YouTube channels or your um, eBay store, whichever you prefer. And um, if you have both, then I just include both of those items in the description as also. Also, so it's $4.99 a month for that featured members video. Now I also do these videos and as an extra bonus, I pop up the channels as well, just to, just, it's extra. So it's not really a part of memberships, but it's a bonus. So, um, all right. So Mindful Recycle, you guys, let me tell you, this girl, I want to find the stuff that she finds. She is amazing. She goes to estate sales, number one, and she will pay up for items, but that's because she knows her stuff. If you guys are not watching Mindful Recycle on YouTube, you need to go check her out. So she bought this at an estate sale for $65. So again, if I went to an estate sale and saw something for $65, I'd be like, just keep walking. I'm cheap, you know, but she knows her stuff. So she sold this for full asking price in a couple of weeks for $399. Here it is, you guys. Um, it went internationally, buyer paid shipping, so they were all in for $482. Um, it's the complete set of 24 vintage 1989 Lennox lot of Christmas carousel animal ornaments. <gasps> Amazing. Okay, the next one. Um, complete, used, very good condition, set with box, picked up at a consignment shop for 
Most modern little people seasonal sets are bolos year round. Okay, so you guys right here, this is the Fisher Price. Um, I believe this is the Thanksgiving and I have sold this also. So I can tell you he is correct. This is most definitely a bolo item. Some of the Santa, um, the Christmas ones are also a bolo. So definitely be on the lookout for these Fisher Price little people uh, seasonal sets because he is right. The next item says, I spent $9 on these dolls at a local consignment shop, sold on auction for $51.04. Oh, I'm sorry, back to the little people, that sold for $80. Um, okay, so the this um, $9 at a consignment shop, and they are Monster High dolls with clothes, shoes, boots, and they're from 2008 to 2016. Now, I will tell you, the older ones typically go for more, but if you can find a rare, Definitely look them up individually. They sold these as a lot, and you can see here there's nine of them. So I feel like when I sell Monster High and Bratz and I put them in a lot, especially on Mercari, everybody's like, I want this one. Can you part it out? Da, 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 da. So anymore, if I get those, sometimes I will take the time to part them out because they do pretty good over on Mercari individually. So um, if you guys are not on Mercari, Mercari's a fantastic... Um, selling platform. I love it. I do have a step-by-step -step how to video. It looks like this. If you guys want to go and check that out. Um, and if you use my referral link, that's down in the description, you get a coupon when you sign up and then you get a coupon again, when you sell a hundred dollars worth of stuff. And then I also get a coupon. So if you want to use my code, awesome. Links down below. Um, but awesome selling platform. Check out that video, um, that how to video, because I take you through it step-by-step. All right, the next item says, I got this free at a family's yard sale. I had it listed for 150 due to imperfections, took a best offer of 120, but sadly still waiting for payment. So I can't really, I'm looking at my computer. It is a vintage 1970s McDonald's amber glass ashtray. So no update. I don't know if they got paid yet, but, um, Definitely something to remember and definitely search comps on if you do see it. All right, the next item, got this gem at a at 2nd and Charles. I don't know what that is, um, for 99 cents. And it sold last night for $35.99. And it is a Nexus Volume 4. So I'm not sure if this is a book or a DVD. It's hard for me to tell by the... Well, the next person wrote, I love finding bargains at half price books. So it, maybe it's a book, um, but this is what it looks like. I hope that helps you guys. This comes from, um, I'm going to mess this up because I didn't write it down. Bolo Buddies member, uh, Sisters Treasures, I'll pop it up right here. Um, and they do not have a YouTube channel, but they have Mercari and eBay store that is fantastic. So check them out. Um, and if you go over to the featured members videos, you can find all the links to all of their stores. All right, the next item, there is no info, just a photo. You guys, if there's no info, I can't share it because I need the info. So definitely, um, if I missed you this week, come back and put it on next week, so okay? Okay, the next one says, got this at an estate sale for $6. It is an antique JDK, Kessner porcelain doll head with composition body, $114.49 this little gal sold for. <laughs> so um, do you guys pick up dolls? Yes or no? Let me know in the comments. Okay, the next one. Bought this at a thrift store for $9.99 and it sold within the first hour of listing it. Listed for $130 because it had some scuff marks, scuff marks and sold for best offer of $120. It's a Canon Pixma IP100 inkjet photo printer. Um, open box, has ink, and is in excellent condition. So I like how they displayed it. Paid $24. Wait till you guys see this. $24. I don't know where they got it. Sold for full price of $425, you guys. I love it. It's so cute. Antique Stife bully dog. I don't know if that's supposed to be bull dog or if it's bully. So could be a typo. Um, stuffed mohair toy, horse hair, collar, glass eyes from the 1920s. 
no way. Um, oh, so Mindful Recycle is also a moderator of my group. And she asked her, where did you purchase it and how long did it take to sell? Nice find. So she said, Antique Mall, less than 24 hours. Get out. Wow, that is amazing. Okay, the next one says, picked this up a week ago at a garage sale for $20, sold and sold a couple days ago for $595. Do you guys see what I mean? This is crazy. Um, I like the easy to find bolos also, don't get me wrong, but learning about these crazy $400, $500 sales, oh my goodness. Okay, so this is a, and they got it for 20 bucks. Alpha stem uh, something for pain and anxiety insomnia and depression i don't know if it's some sort of machine um as long as it's not like um doctor prescribed and has like an rx on it i think you can sell it on ebay always double check because you don't want to get in trouble but if this is an rx um it could have been taken down by ebay but i'm guessing it's probably just not all right the next one um Somebody said, oh my gosh, I've been looking for one of those for the longest time. Direct from the company, they start around $900. So it looks like you can just buy them from the company. So that would probably be fine as long as they don't have like a Vero thing on there. And who can know every single Vero? I mean, really. Okay, the next one, I paid $10.49 for an Excalibur Grandmasters electronic chess set. It sold for full price plus shipping and it sold for $250. Now, I did know about this one. Someone else I know, I can't remember who, but I have learned about this one in the past. Um, so it's an electronic chess game, you guys. So very, very cool, $250. Found for $2 on Saturday, sold today for $68. Um, I don't know what today is, but it must have been pretty quick sale and it sold for $68 on um, Mercari. Now I will say that um, this item, somebody from my Bolo Buddies memberships, I was looking through their store to post something and I saw that they had this same exact screen mask and they had it priced too cheap. And the only reason I knew they had it priced too, too cheap is because I had just sold the exact same mask and I think it's this mask as well. Um, I want to say I sold mine for like 90, 90 ish. It's in one of my videos, but I told my Bolo Buddies member, I'm like, Hey, you need to up the price of that screen mask. And I told her that like in a nice way, I'm like, this is what mine just sold for. And I sent her a screenshot. So she upped the price and her sold for $90. So yay. I was so happy that I was able to help her get more money for her item. Um, but anyway, they sold it for $68. They picked it up for two bucks. That's still a fantastic profit. Um, but these screen masks, I always recommend starting on auction at like $149.99 if you're not sure, because if you happen to have a Gen 1, that could go up to three, four, five hundred dollars And sometimes they're really hard to identify. I know there are YouTube videos out there that talk about the different generations of masks and what to look for and you can definitely do your research but even watching those videos I had a really hard time and I made a rookie mistake when I sold my first one I think it was a gen one and I think I let it go for like 150 bucks or something like that so um don't be me <laughs> um but anyway the screen mask we, I mean we all do it but 68 dollars is still great on um for an item that she picked up for two bucks so but stay tuned because I'm going to show you another one here shortly. All right. The next one says I paid $211 for the Ken Griffey Jr. shirt and I paid $5 for the King Kong vs. Godzilla toy. So I'm going to pop both of those up here for you guys. And it looks like the Godzilla sold for $94 and the t-shirt um, sold for $100. Bucks. So definitely some nice sales great profit margins. You guys are doing awesome. Okay, so here's um, the next one. And again, I know this is in really bad condition, but I probably would have auctioned this as well. I um, The ones that say underneath the chin, fun world division, those are the ones that typically go for more, but Easter Unlimited can still bring you some good money. Okay, so this one says paid $2.99 at the Goodwill, sold on eBay for $65 plus shipping. Now, this one is a mess. As you can see, it's got stains on it, and it's still, still sold for $65. But 
I definitely would have tried an auction. And you know, it doesn't hurt to try an auction because when you're done with the auction, you just put it on a buy it now. And it just gives you some sort of basis like to go buy. Um, this one was an Easter Unlimited, but it did have some condition issues. Okay, the next one got in an estate sale, paid $20 for it, and it sold for $275. It is a, I'm gonna have to try to zoom in here, Twistum's 1920s rare multicolored wooden draft made in England. How awesome is that? Oh my goodness, that is amazing. $275. Um, somebody put, I love the unusual finds. I'm like, yes, me too, totally. The next one bought it in a state sale for $5 and sold for full price. $140 is what it sold for. It is a barrel, B-E-R-O-L, I think. I, and it says uh, Prism Color, Prisma Color, 72 color art pencil set. Thick lead pencils sealed. So if you guys don't know, some arts and crafts go for big money. I also have a video on arts and crafts. Um, what I do is Bolo category videos where I break categories down and I am like, okay, I'm gonna search this category and I'm gonna educate myself. And as I'm educating myself, I put it in video format to help you guys learn also. So I call those my Bolo category videos. I have a whole playlist on those. So definitely go check them out. Arts and crafts is one of the um, categories. Got in an estate sale for $29, sold um, for full price. It is a vintage, oh boy, K-E-U-F-F-E-O, an Esser slide rule 68 by 1400. You guys, this is what it looks like. I have no idea what it is. Um, the guy sharing this is like a mega bolo finder. He is just amazing. Um, but he sold this for $310. I, I probably would have looked it up. It looks cool, but I, it wouldn't have been like, oh, I know what that is. The next one got from the Goodwill outlet. So the bins for 30 cents. Um, and the eBay auction ended at $493. I also have a category bolo video on toddler dresses and you're gonna wanna check it out. Um, this is an example and I don't think I know about um, this brand. It says Daddy's Little little Lil Princess. Um, I'm guessing maybe that's the brand. Uh, it says 2T, 24 months dress, vintage pink, and it says John Trip Baby. I don't know if those are just keywords that they're using to bring people into the listing or if that's information on the tag. So unfortunately, I can just see the title, but it sold for $493. These circle dresses that are toddlers, big money, guys. Go check out that video. Um... This was included with a Xbox 360 I picked up for 30 bucks. Almost didn't look it up. Oh my goodness. Um, Halo 3, um, do not sell before 925.07. First print rare, unopened, you guys. $539.90. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's amazing. I just love it. Um, the next one says paid a dollar at my local thrift store, sold in less than a week. Just remember to check top and bottom shelves. Don't be afraid to dig around in bins if you have the time. This sold for $119.99 and it is a tarot, tarot, uh-oh, I'm going to say it wrong. I think I normally say tarot and I think it's tarot cards, tarot cards, T-A-R-O-T. -T. I don't know. I heard Primetime Treasure Hunter say it on his channel the other day. And I was like, I am totally saying that wrong. So, but I can't remember how I normally say it. I think it's tarot is the correct way. These are from 1995. It says blue star, large size in English, rare, $119.99 on those. All right, the next one, it says this Vera Bradley travel bag bought for $6.99 and sold for full price of $45 in two hours. Um, Vera Bradley purses bring very little and are usually overpriced in my thrift store. But I guess the bigger ones are sought after. I think um, most of the Vera Bradley I have sold are a good bread and butter item. 
um, but I have sold a big one as well. But you do have to pay up for a little for them a little bit. Usually at my thrifts, they they kind of know the brand. But this sold on Poshmark for forty five dollars. And Poshmark, I also sell on Poshmark and love it. Um, I actually use a cross posting extension called List Perfectly. And if you guys want to check out a video, I have a video demo on how I use it. I basically start on eBay and I cross post my items to Mercari and Poshmark and I can bulk cross post. So I can list during the day and then I can sit down at night and I can cross post all of those items over to the other two platforms very, very quickly. Um, sometimes I put stuff on Etsy. Sometimes I put stuff on, um, oh, what's it called? Grailed, but not very often. And I've been dabbling in Facebook. So I have a video that shows you just how to cross post from um, eBay to Facebook if you wanna check that out also. Um, I highly recommend cross-posting, you guys, if you're not, because different eyes on your items. I know with Poshmark and Mercari, a lot of people sell on those platforms. They hold the money, and then they buy stuff with it. So they don't even check the other platforms um, for comparable prices. They just use the money that they've made from selling their stuff. And um, yeah, it's different buyers, different eyes. I, I have it happen all the time. It'll be cheaper on eBay, and it'll sell on another platform for more. Um, I've talked about that before. Um, if you guys want to check out List Perfectly, um, I do have a coupon referral code that will get you 30% off your first month. And that code is Bolo Buddies, all one word. And again, I have been using it since 2019. I absolutely love it. And that's all. I mean, check out the video. It's, it's fantastic. And there's other ways you can use it. You can catalog the things and it makes it easier to um, delist items if something sells but I just go and take it down manually. I don't use the catalog as of now, but the catalog is a fantastic option. Okay, the next one says, bought it at the Goodwill for $2.99 and sold on Etsy for $45, was listed for about six weeks. Speaking of Etsy, here's an Etsy sale. So um, Vintage Dimensions definitely can be a bolo. They range from bread and butter to big money, but I will tell you, I pick up any sealed cross-stitch kits that I can get my hands on if they're cheap. Now, if they're like five bucks or more, four bucks, even three bucks, I'm probably gonna look them up. But if I can get them for a buck or less, I'm buying them all um, because they are a great bread and butter. If you can find the Dimensions Gold, you're in the money, 100 bucks, a lot of those. I got this at a garage sale for a dollar, sold in about a month for full asking price of $49.99. Mary Englebright pin cushion chair with cherry yellow red fabric hidden storage. How cute is this? Mary Englebright is probably what's selling this. Highly collectible. People really, really like her. Again, items range from bread and butter to big money. But if you can get it cheap, definitely pick it up. Paid $30 two years ago at a Montana Rescue Mission Bargain Center. Listed it last year, had multiple lowball off offers, and it sold for full asking price of $550 last Friday. <gasps> Talk about patience. Waiting on the right buyer. Definitely worth it in this situation. So it is a Filson Henley sweater. Filson is a great brand. If you guys see that brand, definitely look it up. I've never personally sold it, but I have seen many people share about that brand. It's F-I-L-S-O-N. So definitely be on the lookout. Um, Carrie, um, one of my moderators, she has the YouTube channel Be Carried Away and she specializes in vintage clothing. And she also sells hard goods also, but she loves clothing. And it says, congratulations on holding out. This is why I love being a long tail reseller. She will tell you in her videos, I am a long tail reseller. She, um, she definitely uh, will be patient and wait for the right buyer. And I feel like I'm pretty patient also. It's like, I, I don't always have time to like do price drops and I do send offers all the time. Um, but going in and actually adjusting prices and re-looking up comps, I just, I don't have time. So I just let it sit and it eventually sells. Um, a lot of 10 Barney VHS tapes paid 50 cents each, sold for a hundred and two hours after listing. She put, I was so excited. Um, and that is fantastic. So these are old Barney movies and I can't tell if they are sealed or not. So pretty cool. The next one, Paid $2 at the Goodwill, no sales comps, 
just listed high at 80 bucks and accepted a best offer of $65 and it sold within two days. It's a vintage 1995 NFL Pro Football Hall of Fame logo snapback hat cap made in the USA. So I also have a category video on snapback hats if you guys want to check it out and learn what to look for. The next item paid $19 and it sold for $225. Unfortunately, I cannot see the brand. Um, bummer. Let's see. Uh, what brand is this? Somebody asked the question. Um, and now I've got to figure out how on earth to pronounce this. Uh, oh boy. I'm just going to spell it for you guys, okay? Because I will not, I will not get it right. E-R-M. E-N-E-G-I-L-D-O. That's the first word. Zegna is the second word. So super, super cool. Uh, I don't know about that brand. I've never sold that brand, but it sold for $225. So I think I'm going to remember that weird brand. I don't look at clothes much anymore. But um, all right, you guys, that was 30 big money, unexpected bolo items to be on the lookout for items that hopefully you're going to be able to buy low and sell high. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Please let me know what your favorite item was. Stay tuned for part two and part three. They will be coming soon. I'm not sure when. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to put one of them on my other channel or not. So if you're not subscribed to my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, definitely go over there and sub. You guys, make sure you turn on your bell notifications. That way you're getting alerts when I post new videos. And leave me a funny emoji, any funny emoji down in the comments. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.